So I break the knee wound closure down into four parts and actually each part has a separate suture. So the first part is the arthrotomy realignment. So as part of the closure, I wanna make sure the arthrotomy is lined up perfectly. So at the beginning of the case, I've made the three hash marks. So the first suture, which is a number one vicral, three interrupted stitches, just to get that arthrotomy properly lined up. The second part of the wound closure is the actual arthrotomy <clears throat> and creating that watertight seal. So that's gonna be a barbed number one PDS stratifix suture that we will uh, wrap up uh, from the bottom to the top to create that watertight uh, closure. The third part is going to be now what I call the deep dermal and adipose layer. So getting the soft tissue uh, close, but not completely closed and allow that to uh, to divide the tension and the stress along the deeper layers. So we also close down the dead space created between the arthrotomy and the skin. And that one also is with a number one PDS Stratifix uh, running barb suture. And then the final closure will be actually the subcuticular. So I'll use a, a monofilament um, monocryl and it has two needles that allows the surgeon and assistant to close in different directions. Again, it's a knotless system, so it creates a watertight seal. So that's the third watertight seal of the four-part process.